over 26, only three are confirmed as Nigerian. So it's not, we can't even say all 26 are Nigerians, but however, the African girls, they are still our daughters. And Nigeria being the giant of Africa, we're going to champion the rights of these girls. Even an irregular migrant has rights. You know, if there's no supply, there will be no, de if there's no demand, there will be no supply. So while we on our end ensure that we do everything to curtail the supply, they on their end demanding are just as guilty. So it's a strong cabal that is taking over the drug cabal. And that's all we should know and enlighten our people. It's easier now to traffic human beings than traffic drugs. Because with technology, you are getting to, de to, to uh, know who carries it. So this is the next line of business. And this is something that the world must rise up to, and which brings me to the issue of um, uh, slavery. We all know that these girls uh, are sold as slaves, and this is something that should be unacceptable to the whole world. We cannot go back to the dark era where human beings will be sold as slaves. So the UN, EU, Africa Union must intervene. This is the world problem now. We're not going back. And we're not accepting that. And those in Libya must be sanctioned. Join NAPTIP and every parent, every Nigerian, to discourage irregular trafficking. Those girls that are dead, somebody paid four to six thousand dollars for them. It's not a it's not a free journey. And it's a worthless journey.